YouTube here on another video and uh, well this is a new series well you might have seen my other one it cut off my clip a little bit uh, it was called N J Y N which New Jersey um, New Jersey YouTube news this is gonna be now a political station really and today we have a, quite a few political po um, things to talk about and we have to talk about last night first. We're gonna go on a time order. Last night was the State of the Union address. The President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, had an amazing State of the Union address as he addressed on everything he's completed in his four years of office. And there's quite a few things that he completed very well and actually nearly 100% of what he's promised was committed. And that's pretty good. And you never really seen um, senators chanting four more years when there is a state of union. And that shows you how much more he is liked by his supporters than Obama was. So now let's get on what happened. So he had a great speech the whole way through, came in, Sergeant of Arms, let's start from there. He comes in, the Sergeant of Arms announces the President of the United States, then Nancy Pelosi says, Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of the the president of the United States, and she actually is supposed to, and I'm not sure. I need to check, but I'm pretty sure by the rules written of a state of a union, they are supposed to say. I know they're supposed to say this, but I don't know if it's a rule. You're supposed to say it's my great honor, along with yours, to represent to um, present to you the President of the United States of America. And she never said that because I don't care if you're honored or not, you need to respect his position. So that occurred and then after that, um, the Republicans did not care what she said and then chanted four more years, four more years, four more years as they show how much they love him in office and why his, and that goes to show you why his approval ratings are so high. So now let's keep going in the timeline. He introduced veterans and Nancy Pelosi sits and does not clap. When he talks about how Suleimani set up bombs, bombs along the road and then showed a family that is now widowed because, um, it was a father and a husband. He was uh, both, he was a husband for the wife and a father for the child. And Nancy Pelosi sat there disappointed. And honestly, she was talking to herself the whole time and looked at the floor, looked at her right, to her left, a little weird. And we go on very disrespectful throughout the whole thing and very, very, very rude for her position to do that. She should set an example. And she goes on, and she doesn't clap, get a standing ovation for Rush Limbaugh. I don't care how much you hate him for how he is like with his political views. The guy has lung cancer and he's dying. You don't sit in your seat and not applaud him, very disrespectful. And she did that to the World War veterans. She did that to when he announced Space Force and showed a very honorable kid he did that when he talked about abortion. He did that in all those things. And then he ends his speech, ends his speech, and she rips apart the State of the Union Address speech, which is actually, if I'm not mistaken, unconstitutional in the rules written of the State of the Union that you cannot rip the president's speech in half and throw a temper tantrum like she did. But we live in this state I mean, we live in this uh, democratic republic that has a democratic house, and they're not going to remove her. But hope, but I believe that from prediction that we're that the Republicans will take the House and the Senate, uh, well, the House back and continue with Senate. And Pelosi will not be Speaker for much longer. I believe as there will be a call for her removal because she committed many unconstitutional acts, like the due process of impeachment that occurred. And then today. Uh, sometime, uh, four, five, six, uh, at around that time, just hours ago, the President of the United States 
was voted out of 52 to 50, um, 52 to 50, uh, I believe 52 to 58 um, on the first article of impeachment uh, as he was voted um, for that to be um, rejected, taken away. And the second was the same, just Mitt Romney decided instead of voting with the Dems, he voted with the Republicans to make it 53 to 47, your final vote. And um, now that occurred. And Nancy Pelosi had a temper tantrum. And I believe that from sea to shining sea, this country deserves better. This country is great. And this impeachment vote was not the end of the fall of the Democrats, but the beginning. As this is coming to the point where the Democrats will fall. And this is the beginning and the end is soon to come. And the end of the Democrats will happen just as the Federalists ended, just as the Democratic Republicans fell, just how the Confederates fell, just how many people fell. Well, that wasn't a party, that was a kind of, well, kind of hard to explain. And honestly, we need to look at history. Democrats want to erase history because they hate their history. Their history is they started slavery and slavery was abolished by Abraham Lincoln, a Republican, and they hate that. And they hate that so much. And that and they hate how segregation was the beginning of the end of segregation was started with Richard Nixon. And I understand he stepped down and did some crimes, but he benefited this country in many ways as he tried to um, racially include um, black people and get rid of slavery. I'm not slavery, segregation. And he did well and pushed that into the presidency of JFK as JFK got rid of it. And I believe that as a country, if we stand together and show what schools are like with brainwashing, what colleges are like with brainwashing, with how this world is come, how the Democrats are so tyrants, they're tyrants, they're act, they act like five-year-olds, they have temper tantrums, they didn't win, so they're sad, so they're trying to impeach a president for that because just because they have the House power, wasting taxpayer money, but I believe in all of my heart that Donald J. Trump will win the popular vote and the Electoral College in 2020 and the Republicans will win in 2024 as Ted Cruz or another Republican takes the nomination and beats the Democrats by a landslide and that is the that will be the beginning of the end of the Democrats as now we are that is going to be the end of the end of the Democrats as now we are starting the beginning of the end of the Democrats please tune in for more with NJYN news Reporting for you, Nicholas Stellianessis. Thank you. Have a great day.